guys welcome back to the channel and welcome to all my new followers this week we're going to sort of review or give you my impressions of Lomo 100 in medium format because I think it's a wonderful film if you remember initially in the year I said that I was going to kind of step out of the comfort zone and shoot some different films because I think Lomo especially the Lomo 100 and Lomo 400, Lomo 800 as well, are you know serious films with which you can definitely do some more, yeah, professional work with. Now this is the second roll that I've loaded up in the Mamiya, and I've already shot the roll. I love the results, and you'll see that. Now we're on Jefferson Street. Jefferson Street is phenomenal. It's like as soon as you turn the corner onto it, it's like you're in a different country. It's uh, very, um, yeah, Mexican, if you will. I love that. Um, you can learn from different cultures. It's very fascinating here. Lots of old architecture, and you'll see that in this video. This video is also sort of me trying to keep my sanity <laughs> because I'm, I'm a bit disillusioned with the whole, you know, Instagram thing and stuff like that. I find myself shooting more for likes than actual, actually the you know, passion for photography. So guys, I'm taking you along on this one. This one's purely for me, but also a little bit for you. So here we go. And of course, behind me, you see the Texas Theater. It's a difficult one to shoot. Um, I'm not gonna take a photo because I already took a photo of it in the blue hour and I really love that. So we're not gonna shoot this one, but we're definitely gonna shoot some other stuff. Look at this one here, guys. Amazing, look at that sign. They don't make them like that anymore, do they? So we're gonna have to snap a shot or two, maybe from this angle and one from across the street. I really love that vibe. Now, a lot has been said about shooting during the summer. There's a little bit of an uproar in the landscape photography. If that's not your thing, that's not your thing. If you like shooting in the summer, you like it. If you don't, you don't. You know, I don't want anybody to tell you when to shoot or what's the right moment. I personally do love shooting in the summer and I think subjects like these benefit from a, you know, a summery vibe, but to each their own. Let's just let everybody just shoot what they want to shoot instead of dictating what you need to shoot when. But anyway, I'm going to set up here, guys, take a shot or two. Guys, if you've ever been in Texas, you definitely know that uh, during July and August, uh, it's sweating. So if you see me sweating, <laughs> it's summer in Texas. Now guys, you can see this place is filled with color. You really, there's really not much else to shoot than color here. It's wonderful, it's color photographer seven. And yeah, I mean, Lomo 100, you'll see it's nice vibrant colors. Some say it's Ektar, I don't think so. Uh, Ektar is very, yeah, pungent, if you will, in its reds. And this doesn't have that, but does it have a Kodak vibe to it? Absolutely. Does it have that Kodak warmth that uh, some hate, some like? Absolutely, but is it Ektar? Hardly.
Well, guys, here's another one of those signs. And I think I like it with the vehicles in front of it. Yeah, why not? Go ahead and uh, snap a few shots here just to, uh, to quell the, the inner photographic demons, the Instagram demons that I have to uh, exterminate. <laughs> All right, here we go, guys. Supermarket, come on guys. I have to take a photo of that. <laughs> Jerry's supermarket. Y'all. Look at this little gym here, guys. Doesn't it scream? Take my picture! It does. So we're going to do that. <laughs> So guys, in conclusion, yeah, Lomo, great film. Who is it for? Um, I don't know. <laughs> for those who want to shoot film, on this more serious note, of course, it's a nice contrasty film. I like the in baked in look that it has right out of the gates. I don't think it's Ektar, but it's definitely, you know, who cares if it's been produced by Kodak? <clears throat> There are countless people online that uh, as soon as the film comes out, they're trying to dissect whether or not it's been re-spooled. Who gives a hoot? You know, we have that opportunity. Thank you, Lomo, for, you know, putting that film out there. I enjoyed it. You know, if you're shooting maybe in the mornings or it's a little bit later, less contrasty light, this film will do awesome. Even in more contrasty light, like today, I think it really did great. In terms of me being out here, it was a lot of fun. I had to do this for myself because I found myself lately chasing the likes a bit too much and I'm absolutely, utterly done with that. That's not what photography is supposed to be about, at least not for me. So guys, I did, do hope that you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.